In this tutorial, we'll be reviewing some tips and tricks on how to use Table View. Table View shows you each of your action cards in a project or summary view as its own row. And then each column serves to show you each component of that action card. When we click on the far left, we'll be able to open up the entire action card and see all the details. We can also navigate using right and left arrows to actually get to different cells. Now if we want to update these cells, we can simply press the return or enter button, use the up and down arrows, and press enter again to populate the cell with our designated assignee in this case. Now I can also change the way I see this view. Maybe there are certain columns that I just don't need to see right now. I can actually select this icon and toggle over and see each component and select which I'd like to appear and which I don't want to see. Now from here I can also move around these columns, I can change the order, I can change their width. Next I can actually make some updates in bulk. So let's say that I need to change the status of all of these actions to in progress. I can simply copy the cell, click on the next cell, press the shift button, hold and click until I have all the cells selected that I'd like to paste into, and then paste. From there, all of my actions change to in progress. The same goes for labels. I can copy a label, and paste a label, just as easy as that. Additionally, I can sort and filter. So let's say I only wanted to see items that are assigned to me. I can do that. Um, I can also sort. So let's say I want to see everything um, in order of what is due. First, I can do that. Um, additionally, I can do this for phase as well, if I want to see phases in their order. I can easily update an action title and I can also bulk delete. If I select these check marks and then right click, I can delete the selected actions. Now another tip in table view is the date filter. The date filters allow me to actually put custom ranges on the dates that I see. So I can just look at the first week of January and see just the first week of January. From here, I can also add custom fields. I can name my field. So say I want to um, put a priority level field in here. I can also select if I want this to be a text field or a drop down field, and I can save it. From here, I'll have a new column where I can populate into that column the priority level of each action item. And at the top here, I can put on some global filters to my view and look at just incomplete items, removing all of the completed items out of my view just to see what's most important. I can sort to see what's unstarted at the top and go from there. Table view has a ton of capabilities uh, and clicking around will prove to show you a lot of what table view can do.